Welcome to Whiteland Restorations and we're back on the Frog Eye. No more BMW uh, sidelines for us. We are back on it. We are going to do some blocking. We're going to do some sanding and we're going to get some more prep work done. Hopefully we'll get the panels off of this thing. We'll prep all the door shuts. We'll get the engine bay prepped. That's a lot of prep work. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a lot of sanding. Um, speaking of sanding, we're going to be deciding which blocks to use. I mean, this is obviously a bendy block for curved surfaces and this one is a very rigid block for flat surfaces. So we're using different blocks in different areas. Um, so let's, uh, let's get on with it. Let's do some sanding. First thing we need to do is um, give it a guide coat. For this, I'm just gonna be using um, some satin black. In a rattle can, super easy, just puff it on. You don't need a lot. So just quickly give it a quick guide. Try not to get it in the arches on the stuff you've already painted. Just needs a quick once over. It dries very fast, so there's no need to worry about it drying. That will be all you need as a guide coat. This door is flat. Um, and as this door is flat, we're not gonna be using one of these really nice Dura blocks because they have a slight tendency to be a bit a bit flexible which is great for curved surfaces i mean that's no good at all at the moment for sanding anything flat because it has got a curve to it so we're going to be using just a standard hard block block these doors down keep it nice and flat block in a diagonal sort of direction we're using a 180 grit because we're still going to be priming we're still at the priming stages this is harsh enough to block this nice and flat. It's going to cut through all that primer and um, get a nice job done. So let's, let's get on with it. Let's get some blocking done. Got our extraction on now. Less dust in our lungs. Probably a good idea. Right guys, I don't know if you can see this, it's very faint, but just of here, you can start seeing the door coming through the primer. Now that's telling me we have got as close as we can blocking this door down. Fortunately, all the low spots are gone on this side, so there's no need to block anymore, and we haven't broken through the primer anywhere which is great use. So let's move on to blocking the back of the door, um, which I'll probably just pop open a slight bit because of the, the transition from the back of the door to the back of the car isn't dead straight. So uh, let's move on and do that. Come on, pop a little bit. There we go. Done. Quite happy with that. Yes, indeedy. Quite happy with that. So we're going to swap out from the rigid block now, and we're going to start using the Dura block to start doing these more curvy bits leading into the rear arch. Still blocking in a diagonal. Still using 180 grit. You can see there's a low there already. So let's make sure this is curving the right direction. These Dura blocks tend to hold a bit of curve when you give it to them. 
They're very, very, very handy little blocks. Look at that, just perfect. Right, so far so good. The door is nice and straight. The sill is nice and straight. Uh, the door transition to the A pillar is absolutely bob on and, and same here, the, it's so level, it's so nice. Um, so we're gonna move on to this slightly curvy rear quarter, which again is where the Dura blocks are gonna come in handy because they can curve and flex with the panel. And it's not too aggressively curvy, so a slightly firm, slightly bendy block is perfect for this job, which is what these Dura blocks are epic at doing. So again, same method, slight diagonals, using the 180 and just cracking on. Unfortunately, no extraction. So it's gonna get dusty. In fact, I'm gonna go and find my mask. Right, and that's the, um, well, the bulk of the rear quarter done with a Dura block, and it is shaped up really nicely. That is so smooth and flat. Um, so we're left with around its rear light section here. We're going to be using a selection of the Dura block round um, this sort of weird soft oblong one, really handy actually, and this sort of half moon affair. Um, to, to do around here and also to do into this other side of the um, rear wing thing. I don't know. Yeah, so use whatever feels correct at the time, I guess.
So we're at the exciting stage now. Yes, yeah, the, the body lines are all there. It's all shaped mm. up. Look at this, Leanne. This is the first time she's seen this. Let's have a look. Oh my God, could you get any straighter than that? Look I don't how think nice that could. is. That is. That's nice. That is striped. And eagle eye people may notice that when I've been rubbing down, it's like you've gone through a layer and there's white underneath. So why does it look like you've primed twice? Well, apparently there was two holes there that didn't need to be there. And it wasn't until after it was, after primed, it was primed that they decided to do yeah, it. So anyway, it's just one of those things. So Nothing. welded up them holes. Yeah. And uh, what's an extra bit of work, you know? What's an extra bit of work? He watches this. That's extra work. <laughs> That's extra work. <laughs> oh, I think I'm just sat on it. No. Yeah, it is but it is looking so beautiful. I mean, it's, it's all shaped beautifully. It has come together really, really nicely. We're at a great point, well, we are at the point of tearing it down again. Doors off, bonnet off. Now we know everything um, fits, everything, everything's everything beautifully does sculpted. Fit, everything is gapped up, everything is sculpted in one piece. So I can see that the car is... That's the secret of is, getting a good looking car. Yeah, it is it the is. secret of getting a good looking yeah. car. Do it in situ, do it nicely, get a nice long straight edge. Go like that and go, do you know That's what? Straight, that, that could is. be nicer. Not that bit, that's lovely. <laughs> that's the past you talking yeah. there. Um, it's the next stage of primer now. Yeah, next stage, another coat of primer. Seems mad, I know, but mm. none of the backs of the panels have been primed. None of the engine bay has been primed. So we'll get all that done. So we'll get all that done, and then it's, 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 it's the, the homeward paint stretch. prep, yeah. which is, is a lot faster than what we've been doing. Uh, what we've been doing is a heavy block down to shape the car. The painting is the quickest bit. Yeah, we need to chuck two more coats of primer on and... Um, we got, we've got our good foundation then for our lovely paint. Um, no. Um? La. 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 So... Next stage next is stage, we're pulling it apart. Get it all, get it all off, right, doors yeah, off. Doors. Luckily there's not that many panels, so doors yeah, off. Yeah, three panels. Um, the front clip off, but we're gonna figure out how we're gonna lift it because uh, we needed three people to put it on. Maybe, uh, whilst I've got you here, we can lift the front off. I think we could do it. Your weapon of choice, madame. Oh, I do like my one, but I do like your one. Mm, which one's better though? I don't know, one way to Bye. find out. <laughs> I'll, take, um, I'll take the long reach. Okay, you take the slow and steady, I'll take the speed. Right, so the method is, yeah? Is this on Lucy Goosey? Yeah. Method is, we're going to lift it up. We're going to set this underneath it. Yeah. 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 As the, this is the person holding it open. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! What did you have and, to do that for? And it's fine. It's supposed to do that. Is it? So why did and, you not do that then? <laughs> and then, it's just loose here. Oh, I just see. Making sure it's tight. It's tight now. Yeah. And then we're going to put our heads in the guillotine area yeah, and potentially and slice our own necks off. We're going to take the bolts off and hopefully once we've got, got it unbolted, we'll not think about this. Yeah. We'll just lift it and put it onto there. This will just fall on the floor. Yeah, yeah, that's the third okay. silent person. Okay, right. Can you do it? You got it? <clears throat> okay. All right. Oh, I see now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, Actually, yep. this would be better off as low as possible. We've still got to get in. All right, can you get in there? Hold on. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely, lovely, right, let's lovely. Let's take off, take three off each, leave the easiest one to get at. Last. Last, yeah? Yeah. There we go, little bugger. Right, right. Put a little pad in there to. Let me limber up. On. Right, you ready? Yeah, I think so. So you just yeah. hold the Renus. Ready? Yeah. Just leave it down there. You got it? Yeah. Get your head out of the hole. I've got it, go. I'm waiting for you to hold get on. your head out of the hole. First. Go. Okay. All right. Up, 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 up. Just go forward. 
onto the trestles. There we go. There we go. That is a success. Wasn't as bad as, as they said it was. was uh, one inch punch. <laughs> We're revealed to the lovely engine bay below. It's actually not that. Not, I mean, it's, it's all the angles in the world. But because it's such short sections, there's not it's a lot of work for me to do. It's not as well. There's, not, there's um, not a lot of things. Most of the work I've got to do is here where the welding has taken place. Yeah. Here, around here in this bowl. Um, this is all stone chip in the bottom areas. So most of it mm -hmm. just needs a good old sand. Uh, we need to take all this old masking off, clean it down. Yeah, make sure the holes are still yeah, holes. Yeah, do all the holes. See, see all this bit? You've got, you've got to get all these sharp bits off. Um, make it nice. Primer, lock down, ready for paint. As easy as that. Man, you make it sound so easy. It's so, oh, look, look. Oh, look, it's a so little perfect circle, don't you? Massive thank you to Independent Paint Supplies for sponsoring the Frog Eye Build. That's where we get all our gear from, so please go and check them out. Get some of your stuff from them too. I haven't been dirty like this for months. I miss it. That's uh, nothing to read into there. <laughs> oh, funny.